Hello and welcome to Pro Design Channel. In this video, I will show you how to completely transform your rendered images with Cryptomat render element in the V-Ray Frame Buffer post processing. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. First, before you render your scene, come to V-Ray Assets Editor. On the render elements icon, right click and select Cryptomat. With this render element, you can independently fine-tune properties such as color, temperature, exposure, saturation, etc. of each element within your image. Once your scene is ready, click render. Now, let us create magic together with Cryptomat in the V-Ray frame buffer. Okay, you want to come to the layers section here. By default, if you've not selected anything, of course, you have the display correction and that's all. So you have to come to the layer here, the drop down, then you see different layers that you can use to enhance your image. In this case, I've selected a lot and, you know, I've set them already. For the sake of this video, you want to focus on Cryptomat. Firstly, I'll make sure that I select whatever layers that I want to use for my overall image. In this case, I've selected all these layers, which they would affect if I, whatever settings that I pick, for instance, the lookup table, it affects the whole image all together and if i come to the exposure as well whatever value that i put in it affects the old image but now we don't want our settings for for instance the exposure to affect the whole image instead we want it to affect just some elements within the scene so i will just come to the layer again and select another exposure just place it wherever you want but in this case just place it here and come to the properties setting then come to the right hand arrow here once you click on that you'll be able to select your crypto mat mask so this is what it uses to recognize the object that you want it to affect so let's click on crypto mat now so once i have the crypto mat then it brings another interactive session where you have to pick the object within your scene and mind you if i want to select just this table that means you would have set your table as a group or component so let's just select the pick option here let me select my fireplace here and click on just this so once i click on that you see it has the name of the component appeared here now we have a new item that is called line 10 you understand so if i come to the property here i can easily adjust the exposure just for this can you see how magical this is you know it's just affecting only that i just want this to be a little darkened you understand and you can see now it's not as exposed as we have it here you know it's exposed and then you can just select only this element now i want to move quickly to the use and saturation and want to quickly change the color of some of the elements here you know you can basically change colors you know it's interesting guys come to use and saturation now because we use crypto mat we use the mask you will see the mask right in front of whatever layer that you've used the mask so which allows you to recognize them easily this is general while this is just for specific component let's come and select another use saturation this first use saturation underneath here is for the general image while we have this that we intend to use 
our crypto mat just let me select the crypto mat and want to pick some of the components here let me select the first one let me select the table here once i select that you see that the name appears here and that is what we want to work with now so we'll come to properties and let's try and fine tune the use and see guys can we see what is happening here so basically we have this color changing i love the blue let's leave it as that and then we want the saturation to be pronounced then we want it to be darkened a bit now we have the colors changed so let's come back here and immediately we do this it's very easy you can come to the crypto mat because you've set some parameters all you need to do now is just to click start clicking on the similar object that you want those properties to be applied let me start to select and guys you can see it's amazing guys it's just like magic to me you know you start to click and that's all you can try to set different tones for your scene just with the use of your crypto mask let's go back to the properties here and start to play with different colors you can see uh, the room is becoming really nice and you can even come here and multiply if you choose multiply it looks more dense you know you can reduce probably the saturation and guys i love this i'm loving this so you know look at this look at this now to make things even more interesting you can reduce the blending mode and make it um, you know it's countless what you can do with this now let me come also to the plants here probably want the plant to be greener let's choose another use and saturation let's use crypto mat again and let's come to the property and we want to pick let's see if it has now i think it's cool like this so let's come to saturation guys you can see something it's just affecting only the the, the plants that we selected it is amazing what you can do with this it is amazing let's return this to zero Let me use the color balance here and we want to add some crypto mat come to the property and let's select the pillows here come to the property then let's try to adjust the color you can see it's changing to the green here matching what we have here which is really nice it's it's cool you know it's changing totally so you can change colors you can affect just few elements within your scene without generally affecting the whole scene now if you are familiar with any graphic software the layers work similarly you know this is supposed to affect the overall scene and it is underneath this so it might not really affect that so let's come and place it up above here so it affects everything generally also for the exposure as well let's 
uh, you know immediately everything changes so that is what you have to arrange you know arrange that to suit what you want that's it guys an amazing transformation to our rendered image using cryptomat render element you can also experiment with your project and see how creative you can go if you like this video kindly subscribe like and hit the notification icon to get notified anytime a video like this is published thanks for watching and happy rendering